Burgess explains that on his arrival in Bandar Seri Begawan, he and his wife were put up in the OK Hotel, which he says was full of hawking and spitting and Turkish squat toilets. They had um, some kind of dinner at the squalid OK Hotel. A dinner that was deeply unsatisfactory. I think they had me, egg noodles, and uh, some kind of plum-coloured sauce, which uh, didn't really uh, look very nice and that apparently tasted of uh, mothballs. Burgess explains... Lynn cried herself to sleep, and I went grimly out, looking for opium. I had smoked occasional pellets in Kotobaru, and in Brunei town, going to shop after shop, I revise the vocabulary of opium taking. I found at the back of a shop that sold crockery, old Brunei hand indeed, two very old Chinese puffing gently. I was courteously offered a pipe and heated pellet I squatted and joined the smokers. I didn't go into a De Quincey trance. I relaxed enough to see time not as an a priori Kantian category, but as a very subjective and flexible dimension. Pullable, like latex. Later, abetted by an ailing liver, the bad visions would come. For the moment, it was enough to shrug off the future and the responsibility of an unhappy wife. Opium is a fine drug. It cures aches and once reconciled with the Sunday of dreams, the British proletariat to its damnable fate. The doctors resented it and lobbied for its prescription. They won and the white poppy became a bad growth like deadly nightshade. The British worker lost his solace and took to football and beer. It's all a great pity.